What's up, everybody? Do you hear me? Yeah, here I am. Uh, my name is Jorge Bravo. And I'm Sven Folkerson. And we gamify subculture. So what do we mean with that? Well, let, let just us take you directly to the first subculture. So here we go. This is Lemmy, Motorhead, OK? 30 million records sold. We also have Max Cavalera, Sepultura, Brazilian global artist. 30 million plus records sold. Jonathan Davis from Korn, 35 million records sold. And Sergeon Tyken with System of Down with 40 million records sold. So what do they have in common? Well, they all joined Rock Science, the rock game of the century. And this is the engagement platform we're building. We connect artists with a global rock, uh, rock audience in an interaction through knowledge-based games. So let, hear, let us hear how it sounds when they actually, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to tell you what it is, actually. Well, we take rock history, and we gamify that content, make it micro-content, and then engage fan bases through that. So we build the ultimate rock trivia game. You can actually choose your booster packs here, your punk, your metal, or if you're a Motorhead uh, fan. And then you actually explore rock history through game. And you earn awards. You gain things. And this time, you gain it for real. So let's hear Jonathan Davis' work. What's up, everybody? This is Jonathan Davis from Korn. Now you can challenge your fellow Korn fans in the rock game of this century. Challenge fellow Korn fans and win a signed Ibanez Korn guitar. We are looking for hardcore Korn fans. Download the Rock Science mobile game today. And get the brand new Korn booster pack. That's how you play it right there. Download Rock Science today. Check it. Yeah, amazing bands and their amazing fans. Oh, there you go. What's up, All right, so what we're doing, that we're creating new revenue streams for artists in the music industry. Uh, we're looking at the rock sub subculture, 500 million fans thereabouts, and thousands and thousands of bands. Uh, some of the bands in, uh, in the rock, rock bands are up here on the screen, and we have signed them all, and quite a few more, to Rock Science. Uh, the new revenue streams that we are creating, uh, th there are several of them. The first one is that we are creating unique uh, artist-branded content that we put into a gamified format and sell directly to the fans of these artists. Uh, one example of that was uh, Lemmy from Motorhead promoting his own, uh, his own booster pack in the game, his content pack. Another revenue stream that we are creating is that we are selling uh, merchandise uh, from the artists to their fans, uh, like T-shirts, it can be also uh, music products, books, CDs, and so forth. Uh, a third revenue stream uh, that we are uh, uh, exploiting now is that we're looking at other products that are relevant to the fans of a particular artist, uh, such as uh, concert tickets or uh, festival tickets, for example. L let me again then go through how this works one more time. Uh, in, the, in the game, there is an in-game store yeah, where you can buy these content packs. Uh, in this case, uh, you can go in and explore. You can start playing the game. Uh, you get these questions about the band's history and about their music. And if you are good enough, you will also get uh, the chances to, you know, you get discounts and uh, the opportunity to buy uh, limited edition products. So this sounds amazing. Like we have 500 million people out there who are dying to buy whatever th we do that we put the artist's name on. So, George, what's the catch? Well, the catch. It's respect your freaking fan base. This is really hard. It's not just to go out there and actually build uh, the connection like it was this sounds this easy. It's about actually engaging the fan base. How do we engage the fan base? 
we have to embrace several values into the product. We have to first build authenticity. Authenticity is like what you will meet. It's the, it's the first question. Is this real? Is this for me? It's part of identification also. The authority. We have to be able, within the platform and the game, build authority. Find the best, the best corn uh, uh, fan in Brazil, in Germany, in the world. And we have to also build participation. This is very, very important. We, we're, we're at this moment talking about co-creation. We invite the fans to build a product that they actually love. And yes, there we have it, the love. This is like one of the most, we have to also embrace the love for the culture. I'm going to go through again, authenticity. This is like, of course, the, 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 it's real from the artist. And then we, we have the participation. You write the questions down, right down to the CMS, uh, to the content management system. And two weeks later, it's presented back to you. And the authority. This is from Corn, you see here, uh, from the Facebook page. We put the leaderboard straight into the Facebook page. And to actually win 13, 10 games, you have to play more than 60 hours. And to win them, you have to. Uh, we at least play three times more. So it's very interested. And the love. Yes, you will get relevant product. You will also get connection. What's up, everybody? This is JD from Corn. I want to thank you guys for playing the Corn Booster Pack. And thanks for all the awesome questions you sent in. You guys are truly amazing fans. I went with the winners. I didn't know what to do, so I just picked my favorite numbers. Which Yes, we're not going to tell you because tomorrow, that's when it's going to this going to go out, and tomorrow the fans will know which winners were there. And this is only a six-week-old project. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, it's a fucking great game to just uh, let uh, D. Snyder <laughs> tell us what we have done, and uh, we're not actually only building the game here. We're actually trying to build an arena that's going to be provided as the best game channel for rockers to immerse in their knowledge and passion. This is, first we have to build the engagement that's very, very important to actually monetize it later. And this is, this is why we're, we are uh, spending a lot of, lot of time just to engage fans and in different ways in different touch points. I hope really that this was a great uh, presentation that you understand. If you have more questions, please come forward to us and ask us. We're here. Thank you very much.